this really cool idea. I'm about to tell you about it. Right here. These boys, Clark and Tony, are gonna help me execute one of the coolest projects I've ever done in my life. Clark, Clark and I have been talking about this probably two times. I've talked to him probably twice about this over the past couple weeks or so. He went to Canada. Tony, so as you know, I've been dating a girl named Kristen Anderson for about, it's actually a year from our first date, which is this Saturday. And I want to make the most epic proposal video ever to her. I'm making a proposal video. You're basically making other every other man who's ever going to propose look like a schmuck. That's what you're doing. So I just asked Jacob Haas, which is Kristen's brother-in-law, for a ring contact to, to start ring shopping. So I've been looking at rings for a while. I know what Kristen kind of wants, and I'm gonna use her twin sister for help too, which is gonna be cool. Jacob hit me up with an amazing connection, so we'll go from there. I just talked to her dad on the phone. That's perfect timing. Gave him an update kind of on Kristen and I. We're going through Merge. It's August 20th right now. We're halfway through, um, so I wanted to kind of tell him what we're doing, just update him on the seriousness of our relationship. But what I did was I kind of got an idea of when he's gonna be home in Florida. Like, make sure he's gonna be home kind of the month of September. And so I have a little bit of, I have a couple weeks there to get out there to Orlando, meet him for dinner, ask him for permission to marry his daughter, which is unbelievable. Clark and I were brainstorming earlier about proposal ideas. And so I'm getting, going back to meet with him right now. And what'll happen is, he's like, all right, we'll walk over here, like, great, here's a little private, cute little setting, cool lighting, I'll do have fun stuff, you know. She'll think we set all that up for the vlog. Yep, and so think that, and I'll start talking, and I'll just start talking about, um, uh, yeah. Come on, say it. And I'll just talk, start talking about how much I love her. Yep. Um, you, that would be the first time I've ever told her that I love her, which would be epic. That's what um, she's gonna know. Yeah. Whenever you throw that, she's gonna know, wait, wait a second. Yeah. So I just talked with Clark, planning the proposal and everything. Dad walked in, <laughs> kind of funny. Didn't realize he was gonna walk in, but he might have the hookup to a rooftop, which would be legit. Kristen, I have nothing to do with this. Yeah, I know nothing. Know. I'm out of this, Kristen. <laughs> He's a part of it. He's already He's lying. Part of, He's, part He's of already of figured out how to lie. Yeah. If we can get that. Right now, I'm gonna go get a quick workout in, because Kristen just landed from her work trip in Florida. Uh, and I'm gonna pick her up at the airport, which is about 15 minutes from me. I've done photo shoots my whole life, like in rodeo and stuff, uh, but I've never done one just for me. Hey, I really like you. Okay, I gotta go. Hey, we, uh, let's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Stand, stand away. No, he's doing photos. What are they for? Vlog and everything. You should have let me pick out your outfit. Oh, I could have told I could have told you that, bro. That doesn't matter. <laughs> what about the, the the belt buckle? <laughs> Do you hear that? All of it. What? Alright, look, look, look at my style. Shoes. We're not showing your shoes. This, this is a perfect like vlog photo because this is like. Hold on, let me fix oh, that's it. That's a good vlog photo. Hold on, let focus. Me show, let me show her. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's yeah. Good. Okay, I will. I'm gonna fix this thing. I will. My job is to help. Thanks, baby. <laughs> You're so funny. Hey, we're gonna get back at this. I'm gonna call you in a little bit, okay? I gotta leave here in like 30 minutes. Okay. Hey, I really like you. You're my girl. Bye. Going ring shopping and we're running late. Amy, this is Drew Horner. How's it going? I'm doing way good. We are, I just want to update you. I emailed you, I'm not sure if you got it. We are running late um, right now. Amy, I, I don't know her personally, never met her quite yet. Maybe I have, I don't know. Uh, but she goes to our church. She's a connection through, she's actually Jacob, who is Kristen's brother-in-law. Use her, she's an excellent connection to getting a diamond and, and wedding ring and all this kind of fun stuff. So anyway, I'm, I'm excited about it. She's cool, she's gonna help us out, and she's letting us document the entire thing. It is August 28th, heading to the very first, I just got really excited, the very first meeting for ring shopping. Are you picking out party um, made rings? 
uh, or is she helping you mix and match? I, I think we're gonna build it. I, I really don't know what to expect. I don't. This is like, I, I want to build it, like I really do. I wanna go uh, from the ground up as much as I can. And for the record, Kristen has no clue what's happening. Yeah, she, she actually is really mad at me because uh, she thinks I'm not ring shopping. She really does. But um, she's also gonna be really mad at me too because I'm not proposing until like November 3rd, uh, which is a long time from now. So I'm gonna propose to her November 3rd. Why are you waiting so long? <laughs> That's a good question. You totally can. Yeah. I feel you like back on your knees. Oh, absolutely. We went to the wrong spot. At first, we went to the wrong building at first, <laughs> which is really funny. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> security guys there didn't have any idea why we were there. <laughs> we walk in and they were like, hey, I gotta see Amy. Uh, Who? <laughs> That's what they did. Drew's ring shopping. 4C 101 is basically 4Cs are cut, color, clarity, and carrot. But I think I think you all are like really close to us because I noticed her thinking, oh, huh. I was like, I know that girl, but yeah. I don't know her because it's yeah. your twin sister. No, we so. don't know her. We yeah. don't. Well, I don't know. I don't know her at all, and I don't yeah. know you at all. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. that's so funny. So yeah, but my husband and I lead merge, and so that's <laughs> that's hilarious. <funny. laughs> We've got one shop manager, who's Sean, right there. And if you come in here. Oh, this is awesome. So again, 70% of what we do typically is custom made. Amy goes to our church, and she's actually seen Kristen and I at our course, our class. Mm -hmm. I just met her for the first time, and she's gonna see us again Wednesday night. Yep. But she won't see us again. But I won't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So she's leading a the table there. Yeah. She's kind of funny, funny part of it. So. so we just left the World Trade Center, Dallas World Trade Center, which was pretty cool. Amy taught us a ton about diamonds. I had no idea. I mean, it's just crazy to think, like, everybody's always told me, kind of like, hey, there's a lot into it. It was cool to kind of see, like, walk through the process. She showed me probably, I think, eight diamonds, four round, four oval. Um, now we kind of, I've, I've narrowed it down to one oval and one round. I'm gonna go with a gold band, but both of these rocks, these diamonds were, were pretty sweet. Anyway, diamonds picked, she's holding it for me, she's waiting on me to give her an answer. So, we'll see. Kristen and I are taking a pre-engagement class called Merge at Watermark Community Church, and I'm gonna try to do what I can to document a little bit of it. For them is how this season is not to serve to straight love to have them. Um, if you got friends who are out of town or don't live here in Dallas, we will have a weekend class. This is our merge couple over here that's leading us. Oh, a little here. focus here. Hi. Okay, so Hi. I, start, I started the vlog. I haven't watched all yet. I've got like four or five vlogs in this. Uh, okay. I am documenting everything I'm doing up until my house that's close to Wedding ring shopping, oh, all that good wow. stuff. The lady I'm buying the wedding ring from is two tables away from this lady who's ring for her husband. Kristen doesn't know. <laughs> I'm actually documenting. So it's the table y'all know a couple. No, 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 no. Not oh, not that. Jamie Kelsey. Oh, but okay. they are. Um, <laughs> so she. Had, so that'll be awesome. Yeah, that'll be so, really cool. It is, so. and it's a surprise. She obviously yeah, doesn't. Right. She has no idea. But yeah, anyway, it's gonna be so exciting. Cool. Awesome. It's cool. been amazing. It's hey, been guys. fun. So yeah. Drew doesn't know these questions for the record. I really don't even know if I know the topic. The topic is, is, is always and it's Kristen. It's Kristen. Yesterday was also the day that I texted Elena and told her, like officially, I'm gonna propose. 
I didn't tell it in that way, but she got the idea and she's like, yes, I know. Like she's like, she even, she even called me little brother, which was kind of funny. Amy Mahoney, the lady that's helping me out with getting a, getting a rock and a diamond, uh, she said something. I noticed like the price point difference. And my immediate reaction, like I said, like, oh, why? like this one's more expensive. And then Amy said something and, I, and then I, I immediately reacted with, oh, she's worth it. Like it was like a, yeah, it was like a, uh, like it didn't matter about the price, you know. I think it was a, um, like it was a reaction and I noticed it and I almost started tearing up yesterday about it and I thought like, wow, I just reacted to, you know, oh, she's worth it. Like that, this is the girl I'll spend the rest of my life with. Like she's um, a princess and she's gonna make me a better man. When I say this, I, it's a beautiful way. She's a strong woman, and it's like completely in every way. She'll tell me when I'm wrong, and she'll build me up when I'm right, and she wants to run alongside me and build in God's kingdom through the businesses that I'm pursuing, through the people that we're trying to reach and impact through business or through ministry, whatever, whatever that may be. She has her own dreams that she's wanting to do, uh, driven. She loves people very well. Uh, she serves people very well. She wants to serve. She doesn't. She doesn't want to ever get like passive in that environment. She always wants to put uh, time in where, where she can also where she can benefit people. This is something that's really attractive. She owns herself well. Where if she messes up or fails, she owns herself well, which is a sign of maturity, which is awesome. And she has given up. Uh, she's literally given up everything to pursue Christ. Like she's moved from her home. You know, whole life change in her testimony and it's just like wow that's a genuine love for somebody it's not the, the mutual respect mutual love that we have for each other but also that love is actually greater for our, our savior which is beautiful i love it i mean she's die hard for building the kingdom building god's kingdom when, when you when you play it on your mind what excites you about i think the, the, the so there's i think there's two things the most exciting part the most exciting part is telling her i love her like I, i've never done that you know hey i really like you you're my girl. What's up, Elena? Hey. Yeah. I. You know what I think is really pretty? I think if you do, it's actually better if it's only on the top half. Okay. Oh, cool. Oval diamond with halfway round diamonds on the band. Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, thanks. No problem. Talk to you later. See ya. So I just had a phone call with Elena talking about like rings and what we want to get. I needed some inspiration for her. So she sent me over a picture. But I'm coming back over here for the second and hopefully last time of uh, ring shopping to decide on a final diamond, final band. I think everything. I think big picture of everything. You're good to go, sir. Perfect. And Wrapped it up. Day two of wedding ring shopping filled out, I guess, everything we get done. A couple weeks, it'll be ready. And we'll have a ring. This is our last night of merge. <laughs> Love language. Active, active service. Then I would say it's words of affirmation. This is definitely physical touch and quality time. I'm here at the airport. Uh, about to board the flight to go talk to uh, Kristen's dad to kind of sit down an hour, um, have a dinner with him, and I really want to like kind of cherish the moment uh, and just enjoy that time. But uh, it's crazy to think I'm going to ask for permission to marry his daughter. So I just got the phone with Kristen, and I'm waiting in line over here to board this flight. And she was asking all these questions about what I'm doing, and I told her I was flying to a pre-con meeting for our trip that we're doing and for our company, Premier Designs, in June. And I'm meeting with uh, some Disney representatives to talk about like hotels and meals and all that kind of fun stuff, which is not true at all. I'm not meeting with Disney at all. I'm actually just going to meet with her dad for like the hour that I have with him. We only got like a minute to get to this train. So he said he was going to pick me up at the departure and been driving around in circles for a couple minutes waiting for me to get there. <laughs> so we're talking about plans and proposal. I'm trying to get uh, Jerry here down to November 3rd. But we're getting Jamie down there with us. 
and he's saying he doesn't know he might come in early but I'm trying to get him to be secretive and, and say he's gonna come in. He's playing it with me. He's all about it. Yep, trying to figure it out. Yeah, he's all about it. We just gotta figure out when he comes in and uh, how to coordinate that and hide it from Kristen so she doesn't plan like a family get together on right. the night that I want to propose. So, so it feels like we just like literally went from one flight to the next, going to right back home. I texted my buddies back home. It's like, hey guys, I just got got Kristen's dad's blessing to marry her. Pretty surreal. I was walking through the through the gate also to get to my gate or after security and I was laughing because me and Kristen have spent so much time in this airport already. We've probably been here five or six times at least over the past year easily. And there's a funny picture that I have and I'll probably pop it up right here in this, you know, I'll probably show it to you guys, but it's us laying down on the carpet here, just me and her, and uh, just laughing, having a good time. But it's just kind of funny because I'm thinking about the memories that I'm making right now just by myself, thinking about time that her and I, not just so in our own world, laying down on the carpet, um, all the way to now, you know, in the same airport that I'm in, that I just took the time to come out here and meet with Jerry or dad face to face for 30 minutes just driving around. My prayer and relationship with me and Kristen has been that I've seen God's design and God's hand in us, not necessarily our own work, but we see God's work in us. And um, that's what I've been praying for Kristen and I. At the end, I asked him, I told him, I told him, like, I've never told Kristen I love her. I've, we've always just been, I like you. We've never said I love as a serious thing. She knows I care about her, and I told him, I go, I love Kristen. And I remember saying that to him, and it was just kind of like, I almost kind of teared up. We were both wearing glasses, but <laughs> it was close, sunglasses. I said, I, and I want to marry Kristen, and I would like your permission to marry Kristen. And he said yes. Went on to talk about Kristen's faith and talk about how she knows what she wants and he complimented me, which I was appreciative and it was just pretty amazing to kind of have that experience with him. And I love Kristen. It was definitely worth it. Every minute of it. I get here and I'm waiting around and this plane is delayed because they had a bird collision. So it's been a pretty fun trip, but I got permission. Yes. The date is Thursday, September 18th. And let's talk about what you, your day yesterday. So yesterday I flew to Orlando, Florida for a work trip. I was actually going on a trip to go see Kristen's dad to ask him for his blessing to marry his daughter. So I planned this trip pretty perfectly. Like I planned it, okay, I got a flight out there. I needed to do it all the same day so I can kind of get back to the office and not miss a whole lot here. But I, my flight was at like 1.20, I think it was maybe, and it ends up getting delayed like an hour. So I didn't take off till like an hour later. So instead of having like two and a half hours with him, I really only had about maybe like really we only got to spend like 30 minutes together. So he met me at the airport, he picked me up at the airport. We ended up, we were gonna get something to eat, but didn't have a lot of time. So we were just kind of driving the car, went and parked and talked for uh, about 30 minutes. Honestly, it was awesome. I asked him questions. Uh, I, I prayed going into it. I prayed, I was like, God, I don't want this just to me. Go and ask the question. No, I don't want to just ask him, hey, can I marry your daughter? I wanted to like talk about Kristen. I wanted to talk about raising her. I wanted to just kind of see what he, he would say about her. And he, he said things like he's proud of her her life transformation and her faith and what she's done and how she just knows what she wants. She's diligent and she's just consistent about what she believes in and she is steadfast. And so we were just talking about how proud of her she, he is and talking about how cool she is, how good she is for me. Talking about his family, how awesome their family is, just thanking him for raising her, being able to let me be a part of their family. And then at the end of it all, wrapped it all up. I haven't told Kristen this, but I told him this and it was kind of surreal. It was pretty cool in the moment, but I told him, I go, I love your daughter. I love Kristen. So, and I asked him and then I was like, I want to marry her and I want your blessing to marry your daughter. And he said, absolutely. And he's excited. He's happy to bring me a part of the family, which I'm happy to be part of the family. I love their family. Just kind of the fun moment we had there. And then I asked him if we could pray it out. And so I prayed us out. Thank God for the opportunity we had. Just the blessing of bringing two families together and what that's going to look like. And I prayed for our relationship, not his and mine, and that we are, we're just confident with each other and that we can just fulfill God's mission and what he's called in our lives. I think it hit me when I said, I love your daughter. Like when I told him, I love Kristen. He replied with, she loves you too. And so when he said that, it was like, it was pretty cool. And Jerry, you are a heck of a father. So I thank you for bringing me in. I thank you for being open to me, telling me that you love me. Um, you're proud of me, telling me that you're proud of us two coming together and you're looking forward to what God's gonna do in our lives and how he's gonna build uh, his kingdom through us two and our relationship. 
you know, I'm, I'm excited to have you as a future father-in-law, to honor you in such a way that makes you proud of her and I together, and that you can know that what we're doing is going to always build and show God's love to the world and also build you up and be able to carry that on for you. So thank you. Perfect. I'm actually really excited. We're going to pick up the ring right now. It's uh, October 4th. I got a funny story I'll, I'll tell you in the truck though. Kristen yesterday, funny story, yesterday Kristen had one of her friends, texted her a picture of her engagement ring, just got, just got engaged yesterday. She's been dating this guy for a while over in Florida. It's, it's really cool, really you know excited for him. I almost didn't tell her, but I kind of had to because it's coming up this Saturday. We have a friend of ours who's proposing, he just told us yesterday that he's proposing this Saturday. She thinks like I'm not even ring shopping. So she really has no idea. Like she, she kind of, she knows I'm gonna propose soon. I texted um, Elena and Jacob. I told them the idea of being able to kind of have a spontaneous double date night, kind of that week. Of being able to kind of have some fun conversations that are really kind of setting the mood, and then be able to kind of sneak away towards the end and break off, and then go propose to her. Anyway, I told Jacob and Elena that and they love the idea. I'm pretty amped. Too. I mm. think that was a good decision. I agree. I think it's perfect. That's gonna look so beautiful. Oh.